Hello, welcome to this BCTD Now video for the week of August 8th, 2011. I'm Dominic Curitano. You know, with the debt deadline and vote increase behind us, we believe it's high time for 100% of Capitol Hill attention and energy to be focused on jobs and the economy. Contrary to what many predicted, a debt deal did not spur short-term growth or gains in any of the world markets. In fact, last week, the market had one of its worst weeks ever, dropping 500 plus points on Thursday alone. And heading into the congressional August recess, many issues still hang in the balance, and we need your help on the local level in these three key areas. First, jobs, jobs, jobs. Well into the third year of this devastating employment crisis, the Alliance for American Manufacturing, through a recent survey, found that 69% of Americans believe jobs should be the number one priority, not deficit reduction. And governmental spending has proven to spur job creation. According to the DOT, every billion dollars that is spent on transportation infrastructure, it creates between an estimated 27,000 and 34,000 jobs. Investments in domestic energy exploration and expansion is another vast source of job creation. According to Penn State University, the Marcellus Shale Natural Gas Development Project triggered $11.2 billion of economic activity and generated $1.1 billion in state and local taxes, not to mention created nearly 140,000 jobs. The second main point we'd like to make this week is to educate you on exactly what happened with the FAA shutdown and subsequent deal. The deal, reached on Thursday of last week, would allow nearly 70,000 construction workers back on the job. But at what cost? $400 million in airline taxes will have gone uncollected. And the Republican caucus in Congress got exactly what they wanted again. We believe the shutdown was never about the money, but rather about the GOP wanting to change the rules for union elections in the rail and aviation industries. Also under pressure from the right are PLAs and Davis-Bacon prevailing wage protection, the third and final focal point of this week's video. Up-to-date information is available to all state and local council reps. Issue briefs and other materials can be provided to you if you need them. Just drop communications director Tom Owens an email at towens at bctd.org. Thanks for your time. See you next week.